Hello, my name is Erin Evans and this is Rocket Flow. We'll start in extended child's pose, taking your knees wide, big toes together, heels apart, sitting back and extending your arms out in front, resting your forehead to the floor and begin to block out the external world Imagining that you are alone in your space, maybe you are, and beginning to activate what we call the ujjayi pranayam, a slight restriction on the back of the throat, inhale, exhale through the nose. Embody the material body, find the periphery of your skin, Notice the temperature, feel the weight of your bottom. And on your next inhale, rise to all fours and exhale, lift your hips into downward facing dog. Taking a couple moments to pedal out the heels, observing the difference between the right to the left hamstrings. And then stopping the movement of the dog, set your eyes. And on your next inhale, send your right leg up. Bend your knee, stack your hips, start to open up the sideline of the body. Be firm through the right palm as you lift the right knee high. And gazing forward, step the right foot between the hands, drop the back knee, straighten the right. Take your right fingertips to your left hip, take your left fingertips to the edge of your right foot. A slight traction back of the pelvis. And let your fingers frame your right foot, skandasana. Drop your back heel, point your toes up. Your fingertips could tent the earth. You might catch your hands behind your back. Pressing that left heel deep into the earth to awaken the inner thighs. And then framing that right foot, send the right leg high and release your leg. Lift your left leg directly up, bend it, stack it, reach it high. Feel the connection of the left palm so we don't lose our hands as we twist the lower half of the body. Traction that left palm to elevate the left knee higher. Eyes forward, step the left foot between the hands, drop the knee, pull back. Take your left fingertips toward your left hip, right fingertips toward the left heel. And then framing that front foot, lunge deep, step to the top, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Stand tall, reach high, look up, release your arms. If it's appropriate, closing into the eyes and doing a quick inventory from feet to crown. Notice the energy in the body, any stuckness, tightness in the body, craving some release. If you haven't already, begin to lift the pelvic floor, activating the musculature of the pelvis, the low belly. And then opening the eyes, Surya Namaskara A, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop the feet back, eyes forward, low push up. 
push your toes back, lift your heart, flip your toes, downward facing dog. Set the feet, set the palms, and then choose a spot for the eyes to land. In Sanskrit, we use the word ekatattva, which translates as one truth. Finding one thing in this moment that is absolutely real and true. The big toes anchoring, the fingers fanned wide, but something that is present, alive. Completing your exhale, eyes forward, feet to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Bow. Stand tall, arms high. Release your arms. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, eyes forward, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, back we go. Our third downward facing dog, you may notice there's a little more freedom. And as you yogis, we're using every opportunity to feel something new, to experience something fresh. Completing your exhale, eyes forward, feet to the top. Lengthen. Bow. Stand tall, proud, reach up. Release the arms. One more up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, eyes forward, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Downward Dog for five. Four, let the breath fill the space of your mat and two inches to the edges. Three. Two. One. Complete your exhale, eyes forward, feet to the top. Lengthen. Over and in. Stand tall, reach high. Release your arms. Bending into the knees, arms up. Fold it in. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, eyes forward, lower. Take it up, glide it back, right leg lifts, step it or jump switch it forward, crescent lunge up, hands down, hips low, low push up, take it up, take it back, left leg lifts, step it or jump switch it forward, Crescent lunge, elevate. Hands down, heels high, chin forward, lower. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, take it back. Note the landing point of the posture where the movement stops and the breath continues to flow through the body. Anatomically, we know the lungs are in the chest, but yogis know that prana circulates the whole body. Energy circulates the whole body. Completing your exhale, feet to the top. Lengthen. Bow. Sit low, utkatasana. Stand tall, adding on, bend the knees, arms up, 
fold it in, forehead toward the shins, lengthen. Step or hop back, eyes forward, lower. Take it up, slide it back. Right leg lifts. Step it or jump switch it forward. Crescent lunge. Standing split, tent the fingers, point the foot in the sky and let the chest drop. Option to stay in a standing split or go to a handstand for two. One. Step or hop back, low push up. Take it up, glide it back, left leg lifts. Step it or jump switch it forward, crescent lunge. Standing split, tent the fingers, bow the chest. Remaining in a standing split or going upside down to handstand for two. One, step it or hop it back, low push up. Strike up, strike back, downward dog. At any point throughout the practice, you can drop to the knees for child's pose. If it feels like you can't breathe in a yoga pose, it's not your pose. And every day the body, the lungs will be different. So every day the practice is a little different. Completing your exhale, feet to the top, lengthen, fold, sit low, utkatasana, stand tall, release, adding on, bend the knees, arms up, fold it in more deeply, Inhale, chest up, step or hop back, low push up, ride the inhalation, ride the exhalation, right leg lifts, step it or jump switch it forward, crescent lunge, standing split, fingers down, foot goes high, pistol squat. Sweep the leg in the sky through, perhaps catching the edges of the foot or using your fingertips like a kickstand. There's an upward facing dog in the chest as the knees pull together. Standing split, send the right leg high and step it open for exalted warrior. Take your left hand to your back thigh as you start to expose the right lung. Right knee lunges, right lung peels up and back. Ardha Chandrasan, half moon, right fingertips down, left leg up. You might catch the hip Elevate the arm or bend the leg in the sky, catch your foot. If you typically gaze down, take your gaze halfway up the wall. Some of you might even take your gaze toward the ceiling or over your shoulder. Eyes down, exalted warrior, step it open. Side angle, elbow to knee or hand inside or outside the foot. Some of you might like to bind the pose and step it forward, birds of paradise or bound, prasarita. Every inhale, we're looking for space. Every exhale, depth. If you're flying, step down, step back. Bring your left hand to the floor, side plank, spin it open. 
You might step the right foot down. You might elevate it up. Attempting to get the front of the left leg long. So if there tends to be a little pucker at the upper thigh, push your hips forward. Without using the right hand, step the right foot forward, drop the back knee arms up. Take your right hand to your low back, slide it toward the heel, and then straighten out the right leg and Charlie Chaplin the foot. Your ear aligns with your bicep, your pubic bone goes forward. Notice what your eyes have landed on and stay committed. Scorpion Ardha Chandrasan, pull it forward. Tent the right fingers on the pinky toe edge, tent the left fingers. Lift the back leg up. Some of you might reach back with the right hand to catch the top of the foot. Some of you might work a little puppy press, floating those feet up into a diamond shape. Eyes are set. My Ardha Chandrasana people turn it into a deep back bend. Returning to a standing split, square it off. Step your left foot back, drop your knee, twisted side angle, left arm up. Hook your elbow over your knee. You might take your hands to prayer. Some of you might open the arms. Some of you might bind. The top arm could reach up or up and over. If you're bound and want to turn it into revolved standing birds of paradise, you could do that. Bigger, fuller breath. Take your eyes down, take your hands down, send the right leg high. Bend it, stack it, maybe flip the dog. Some of you might even like to turn it into an Urdhva Dhanurasana full wheel. Pelvis goes high, pull your legs toward each other ever so slightly. Three-legged dog, right leg goes high for fallen triangle. Cross it over, maybe even a Vishvimatrasana. So fallen triangle, that right foot extends, left arm elevates. Bring your hand down, send the right leg high. Funky headstand, child's pose, or option for anything you want. Right hand lines up with the left elbow joint, head is down. Bring your right knee to the back of your arm, float the left leg up, maybe both legs lift. Toning the glutes, if you're comfortable in a funky headstand, maybe wrapping that left leg around for eagle. If you're upside down, slowly untangle and everyone meet in downward dog. Gently walk your hands back to your feet. Catch a hold of the big toes, lengthen. Over and in, let your skull hang. Give the head a little shake, no. Give the little head a shake, yes. Like the head were a ripe orange hanging from an orange tree, so there's no tension, gravity pulls it. Find one thing that is real and true right now, not what we're about to do or what we've done, but what we're doing now. The back of the legs, the pressure of your hands against your toes, Inhale, lengthen. 
Release the toes, a little squat at the back of the mat, Malasana. So option is stay in a Malasana. If you're playing with crow to headstand, back to crow, you've got four breath. One, two, three, four, five. Meeting in a little Malasana squat into downward facing dog, extend forward. Find the alignment, drop the heart. Lift your left leg up. Step it or jump switch it forward, crescent lunge, we come up. Standing split, fingertips down, elevate the leg and then sweep it through for pistol squat. You know your options, blocks, catch the foot, tent the fingers. Squeeze the inner knees toward each other and the eyes look up. Standing split, send it high. Step it open, exalted warrior. Take the right hand to the back thigh, lean against it. So the knee pulls forward as the left lung lifts up and away from your pelvis. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Left fingertips anchor, right leg lifts. Hand to the hip, to the sky or catch the foot. Begin to be flirtatious with the drishti. So go a little bit farther, maybe up the wall or over the shoulder. The challenge of doing the same, same shapes again and again is that we can get stagnant. So it's up to the practitioner individually to play our edges. Eyes down, step it back, exalted warrior. Extended side angle, elbow to knee or hand inside or outside that foot. Some of you might like a bind and if last time you flew, step it forward, stand up. Keep rolling that top rib basket open. If you're flying, step down, step back. Plant the right palm, side plank, roll it open. You might step a foot down, you might elevate a leg up. Let the bottom leg be strong and firm, scapula, shoulder blades together. The eyes come down, step your left foot forward and drop the back knee, arms up. Take the left hand to the low back, climb it toward the heel and straighten out your left leg. Again, the shoulder and the ear should line up together. Let the breath fill the entire length of the leg. Scorpion Ardha Chandrasana, pull it forward. Tent the left fingertips, tent the right. Pick the back leg up and bend it. Some of you might reach back with the left hand to catch the foot. Some of you will plant the palms, float the legs up into a diamond shape. Returning to a standing split, right leg high. 
Step it back, drop the knee, twisted side angle, right arm up. Hook your elbow over your knee. Hands to prayer, arms open, some of you might bind. Maybe there's a revolve birds of paradise. Your knee could elevate. Every exhale, we're rolling the top lung open. Find what is real, my legs squeezing to each other. My exhale tickling the top of my lip, that's real. If you're flying, step down, step back. Hands frame the left foot, send the left leg high, bend it, stack it, maybe flip your dog. Protecting the shoulder by spinning the shoulder away from your ear. Pelvis is nice and high, knees start to pull together. Three-legged dog, plant the left palm and then cross the left knee over fallen triangle. Some of you might catch the foot for a Vishvimitrasana, square off the pelvis. So similar to a flip dog and yet our legs are way wider. Three-legged dog, plant the right palm, left leg high. Drop the right forearm to the earth for funky headstand. Left palm by the elbow. Hook your left knee on the back of your left elbow joint. Maybe lift one or both legs. Some of you might prefer a child's pose and if you eagled the legs last time, do it again. Gently untangle. So if you're upside down, right side up. If you're child's pose, extend back, downward dog. Gently paw your hands back to your feet and bend your knees to put your hands under your feet. Lengthen. Fold it in, head shakes no, shakes yes. And then let the spine drop like a waterfall. Feel the temperature difference between hands and feet. Notice the different appeal of an inhale versus an exhale. And drop deep. Drop into the legs, drop into the lungs, drop into the alignment that is yours. Anything to keep you in the moment. Inhale, lengthen. Catch your waist and stand up. Dancers pose on the right leg. Anchor into the right foot, bend the left knee, kick the foot into the hand and bow the chest. Find an imperfection of an imperfection to hold the gaze. Tighten the bow. Let your leg bones hold you. So when we stack the bones, our poses get solid. And release the shape. Opposite side, bend the other leg, catch the ankle. Kick the foot into the hand, chest is wide open, eyes are set. Even tighter, kick the foot into the hand. And release your shape. Rising to the tippy toes, arms up, fan the knees, sink low, malasana. Option to go downward dog and meet us at the top or three little froggy jumps to handstand to get to the top. 
plant the palms a couple feet in front of the feet, hop up, release, two more times. You might even clap your feet and give yourself a round of applause. Last jump to the top, release the feet between the hands, lengthen, over and in. Sit low, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, you're on your right leg. Send the left leg back, warrior three. Set the eyes on an imperfection of an imperfection. You might even pulse the leg in the sky just to feel the glute. Notice what would have to happen to lift the leg higher. And then step that foot out for trikonasana, arms float. Slide the right hip back, hand to the shin, to the floor, to the toe. If you have some sort of a bind you'd like to take, feel free to do that. Let the breath be spacious and a pause at the top and the bottom. What are you looking at? Take your eyes down, hands down, prosarita A, spin to the long edge of the mat, lift the heart and over and in. So some of you might have an inverted practice a handstand, a headstand, a forearm stand. Toning your legs if you're upside down. If you're in prasarita, pull your torso between your thighs. If the feet are up, set them down. Inhale, lengthen for a variation of skandhasana, left toes to the back right hand corner. Pop your right toes up and drop your bottom behind your left heel. Right hand catches the left ankle, left arm up and over. Spin your whole body. So the bottom shoulder, the right shoulder will moderate the twist. And gently rise all the way up to frame the left foot for pigeon, lower the shin. Some of you will fold forward, some of you will turn this into a back bend. So these are those precious moments where the yogi must listen. What's in my best interest? Observing the difference between the inhale and the exhale. And if you're down, come up. If you're tangled, untangle. Sitting over on the left hip for sundial posture. Pull the right foot forward, rock the hip. So some of us will work right here. Some of you might place your knee on top of your elbow and tent the right fingertips, catching the edge of the right foot with the left hand and start to spin the chest open. It's okay if the right hip is elevated and if it is, plug the right thigh deep into the, the hip socket. Spin the eyes forward, Ashtavakrasana, or rock the hip. Cross the left ankle over the right. Legs go to the side. The collarbones smile forward. Bottom is high. Three. Two. One. 
gently take it back. Vinyasa or downward facing dog, release your foot. Dropping down onto the knees, Ustrasana camel pose. Catch the pelvis, push it forward, stay there or catch the heels as the pelvis draws forward. Your ears can pull back almost like a double chin or if it's safe, drop the head back. all the way up option one child's pose option two forearm stand you might work dolphin you might come all the way up if you're upside down toning the glutes toning the legs pointing them And if you're upside down, come right side up. Stretch back, down dog. Reach your left leg up. Step it between the hands for Prasarita A one more time, lengthen. Fold it over and in. Again, an inversion, you might take a different grip. But when you take this pose a second time, what's the difference? The pose is never changed, but as the body starts to warm, the feeling is different. What are you noticing right now? The finger pads, how you're distributing weight through your feet. Make this your amazing scientific discovery. Like no one has ever studied this. Inhale, lengthen. Catch the waist. Stand all the way up and pivot yourself forward for twisted triangle, square it off. Folding at the waist, take the left hand to the shin, to the pinky toe edge, right hand to the small of the back or lifts up toward the ceiling. The trick here is that the left shoulder starts to spin to stack over the left wrist. Eyes down, standing split. Pistol squat, sweep the leg in the sky through Tenting the fingers, maybe catch the foot. We've been here before. And stand up. Point the toe, intertwine the fingers behind the back. Toppling tree, hands away from the low back, foot higher. Standing split, send it high. Step it back, Hanuman or Arda Hanuman. Straighten the right leg. Maybe gliding it forward into full split. Your back toes could point or flex. You could reach the arms up. You could forward fold over the long leg. And check your face. If I saw your face right now, would I want to hang out with you? And then sitting over on the right hip, coming into half bound seated lotus or janu A. So my lotus people, you'll cross that left foot high to the hip. Janu, you'll push your foot into your thigh like a seated tree. Reaching the hand behind the back, lotus people. Janu people, you'll catch the extended leg with both your hands.
This is where it'll get a little bit crazy. Inhale, lift the heart. So if you have a Janu, you'll come to horse pose simply by standing up. If you have a half lotus, you'll keep the half lotus and stand up on the knee joint. Bring your hands out in front, thread the left arm under, let the tailbone get heavy. The elbows peel nice and high, pelvis gets heavier, heavier. Like a potted plant, your tailbone is the roots, your chest, arms and head, the limbs of the tree. Ardha Chandrasan, if you have a half lotus, you'll keep it. Otherwise, you'll spin it open your way. But half lotus people catching the foot behind the back and rolling the left sh shoulder down. Will vinyasa, so if you have a half lotus, keep your half lotus as you take it through. And then untangling into downward dog. Option one, child's pose. Option two, headstand. Option three, handstand. So whenever you're ready, take your shape. We've got five. If you're at home, Maybe use the wall, four, three, two, one. If you're upside down, come right side up. Child's pose, downward dog, and we'll meet at the top of our mat, feet between the hands, lengthen. Fold, sit low, Utkatasana, hands to heart center, warrior three. Send your right leg back, internally rotate the leg, and some of you might like to pulse the heel in the sky. Just out of curiosity, what are we working with there? Is there more potentiality that we forgot about? Step it open, trikonasana, arms float. Slide the hip back, left hand, shin, a block, the floor. The right arm is up. If you have a twisted variation, feel free to do that. The eyes are on the thumbnail in the sky. And you'll notice that the eyes will want to look all around like the grass could be greener with a different drishti. But we settle where the eyes land. We choose that spot consciously. Prasarita D, walk yourself to the long edge of the mat. Catch the big toes, lengthen. Over and in, let it fall. Using the power of the big toes pushing down to draw the elbows up. Find a spot for the eyes to land. Feel free to take a longer stance. Inhale, lengthen. That variation of skandhasana. Right toes point to the upper left hand corner as the left toes pop up. Left hand catches the right ankle as the right arm reaches across your body. The bottom shoulder used as a lever point to lift your top lung up. And 
and then rising up to frame your back foot, lower your right knee for pigeon. Perhaps it's a forward bend, perhaps it's a back bend. You've heard me say this before, but with my poses, I want symmetry side to side. So if I did a back bend on one side, I would do a back bend on the other. Whatever posture you've chosen, find your left big toe and your right big toe. Notice the eyebrows, if they're knit together, soften them. And if you're folded forward, rising up, if you're tangled, untangle. Sitting over on the right hip, sweep the left leg around for sundial. Now some of us will rock our hip. That'll be the option we stay with. Otherwise, hooking the knee on top of the elbow, catching the edge of the foot, and spinning this open. Very similar to that perigrasana, that variation of skandhasana we did. Spinning it forward for ashtavakrasana, crossing the top knee on top, legs to the side, Gaze to the toes, three, two, one. Take it back. You could vinyasa. You could stretch back into your downward dog. Dropping down onto the knees, ustrasana, camel, or any variation you're working. Catch the low back, push the pelvis forward, maybe catch the heels. Whatever posture you take, ensure that the breath can fill the space of the body. So there, if there's a catch in the breath, back off so the breath can flow. Rising all the way up, option one, child's pose. Option two, an inversion of your choice. Headstand, shoulder stand. An inversion of your choice. Headstand, forearm stand, handstand. Bigger breath, fill the space of the mat and two inches beyond it. your secret little world, your vortex. If you're upside down, come right side up, stretch back, down dog. Reach your right leg up. Step it between the hands for middle splits or frog pose. Frogs, your legs will be at a 90 middle split. Get the baby oil and slide your legs apart. Wherever you are, coming into a wide-legged seat. So you might need to do some awkward maneuver to get there. You might glide into it. Upavishta Konasana, a wide-legged forward fold. Take your sitting bones back and dive over the space between the legs.
Notice where the attention is in the body. It's in my left hamstring, it's in my right foot, and then widen the aperture so that you get a bigger picture of what is actually happening. The human mind so easily finds the intensity, but what about the sweetness and the subtlety? Rising all the way up for a bandha check. So some of us will frame the right leg and turn it into a bow over that right leg. Others of us will pick it up in a wide-legged L-sit. You might even lift it up into crow and return to the wide-legged shape. Exhale. Maybe pick it up. You might sweep the knees through and crawl your way up to Bakasana. And then come all the way back through. <laughs> Opposite side. Frame the other leg. It might be a forward bend. You might dig deep and pick it up, taking yourself to Bakasana. And then all the way back. Holy guacamole. And we'll stand up. So one way to stand up is to lean back, hook the knees on the backs of the arms to Titi Basana. Either way, feet on the ground, inhale, lengthen. Catch the waist, stand up. Pivot yourself to face forward, twisted triangle. Right arm extends, hand to the shin, ankle or floor, roll the chest open. Squeeze the inner thighs together and again, stack the right shoulder over the right wrist. It'll feel like a big action. Eyes down, standing split to pistol squat. Sweep the leg in the sky through. Your choice, so again, blocks, catch the foot, and then when you're ready, stand up. Intertwine your fingers behind your back, weird pinky on top, point the foot in the sky, lean way back, hands away from the hips, foot higher. Standing split, send it high. Step it back, half split or full. Glide it forward. Drop the pelvis. Again, our feet could be pointed, they could be flexed. Whatever they are, they're definitely active. What's real? What is real and true is that you are working Hanuman. What isn't true is anything that happened or is about to happen. That's not real. We are attempting to wrestle with and pin down the present moment through the physical body. Sitting over on the left hip, the right leg sweeps. It might be a half lotus, it might be a janu. Half lotus, you can catch your toe. Janu people, you'll catch your foot. Inhale, rise up, coming into horse pose. So half lotus people, you'll use your lotus knee. Otherwise, you'll lower the foot and thread the arms under eagle arms, tailbone heavy, hands high. I 
I can't stretch, stress it enough, tail down, really strong, lengthen the low back. Releasing the hands half bound Ardha Chandrasan or regular half moon. Rise up, open the pelvis. Releasing this shape with a vinyasa, if you have your half lotus, you'll hop back with it. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Gently tip the weight forward to a high plank and come all the way down onto the abdomen. Rolling over onto the back for back bends. Little bridge or full wheel, walk the feet in. Drape your shoulders under your back and start to climb your way up. Pay close attention that the knees continue to draw in, that you ground into the feet to power up the glutes, but there's length in the low back. And all the way down. Let it all slip away like a flush of relaxation through the entire body. Little bridge, full wheel, back up. You might walk it in a little bit tighter. Find the breath, find the pelvic floor, and a spot for the eyes. And all the way down, there is a flush, a celebration. Don't miss this moment. When we're in such a hurry to get to the future or so worried that we're living in the past, we miss this. This is what it's all about. Last round, little bridge, full wheel, elevate. Knees hug together, breath is full, the front line extended. You might even lift one leg up and then the other leg up. And all the way down. Supta Baddha Konasana, bottoms of the feet together, hands to the abdomen. If it's safe, close your eyes. What an experience living in this human body and knowing how to move it in this way. What an honor. Use your hands, bring your knees together, give yourself a hug. And then the arms go wide, knees to the left, eyes to the right. Observe your feet, whether they're touching one another, how they're touching one another. Bring the eyes through center, knees through center, opposite side, let them fall, eyes over the opposite shoulder. Eyes through center, knees through center, one more squeeze. And lie on your back for final relaxation. 
The palms flip open, the feet flop. Take an inhale. Ah. One more. The work is done. Now let the vibrancy of the physical body speak. You may notice a hum or a buzz in the body. That, my friends, is what it means to be alive. Not a passenger on this ride called life, but the driver. Feel free to stay as long as you need in this position. Thank you so much for your practice. Jai Victory.